In this video, we are going to see how to do a parallel inversion, which means that we are going to import our surveys and invert them at the same time altogether. This will save us a lot of time. For this specific problem, I'm going to choose a 3D inversion and then check the batch inversion. Why did I choose 3D? Because Parallel inversion would help a lot in 3D surveys because those surveys take a lot of time to get inverted. Then we have to import our data sets. Since we are doing a batch inversion, the order doesn't matter. And the next step would be to importing the electrode labels and locations. Now we have to create a mesh. For doing that, I am going to use the default settings. Next step would be the inversion settings. It depends on your say array. Uh, you can select the a different A weight and B weights. But the most important part would be to check the parallel inversion checkbox in the inversion settings advanced tab. And then you click on invert. With this, you would be seeing the each iteration inversion result in here. But that would save you a lot of time, especially for 3D inversions. As you can see, during the inversion, you would see which inversions have been completed out of the total available in files. And as you can see, we get the results for each file that we had and they have their own attributes. I am going to select the second file. As you can see, an anomaly is forming in this area. I can select the grid to know exact location. And if I select the next time and the next time, I can see the, how this anomaly is progressing. This can be an oil spell for example, because it is very resistive. Thank you for watching this video.